back at you again with episode eight of Bass Fishing. All right, so what I've got for you today is the easiest, most simple bass rig ever. It works everywhere. Summer, use it all summer. Into the fall, use it into the fall. And this technique is probably, oh man, if I, if I had to tally up all the bass that I've ever caught, uh, particularly in my teenage years, this technique that I'm about to show you, there are these two techniques have caught me more bass than almost anything else I can think of, uh, if not significantly more. Took second place in a youth tournament doing this. this is all I did all weekend. It's crazy easy. Watch. Okay, what we're going to start with is light line. Light line. That means 10, 12, 12 pound test line. Uh, you might go as big as 17, but probably not. I've got it tied on 20 here so that, that you can even see the line. Now, if you're just getting into this, if you're a teenager like, like I was, then you, you probably have relatively light tackle anyway. You may be using a, a spin casting reel, something like a Zebco or something like that. This is a perfectly fine technique to use on a rod like that. You may have a small spinning reel. This would be a perfect setup to do uh, like that. If you have really, really heavy gear and, and huge um, or uh, strong bait casting equipment, things like that, you're gonna want like a finesse rod uh, to do this on, which is light, very, very small. Okay, you see, this is nothing like that seven foot Berkeley lightning rod and 65 pound braid that I was fishing Texas rig on the other day, or uh, the seven and a half foot rod that I was long worming with the other day. This is a much shorter rod. I think this one's five and a half feet or six feet. Uh, just You just kind of flick it like that. It's a little small, small rig. And this is a very, very light, small rig. Okay, so here we go. We got our line. We've got our offset Texas rig hook. Remember, this is a three-aught, three-aught. So I showed you, uh, you, can you can do just about anything in bass fishing with threes and fives, threes and fives. I've used little ones and twos before. I've used uh, everything from seven all the way through 12 before, but threes and fives will do just about everything for you. And what I've got here is a three-aught must add wide gap hook, okay? Now, first one I'm gonna show you is, uh, is a Zoom Super Fluke. Bass Assassin, uh, I can't remember the name of the company that makes bass. I think it's Lunker City, I think makes them. But anyway, uh, there's a bunch of lures on the market that are nearly identical in action to what I'm about to show you. Pretty much every major lure maker makes something like this uh, because it works. It's that simple. Now, what it is, a little imitation fish. This is soft plastic. It's got sort of an open belly to it. That's important. That's sort of a fishy sort of shape and it's got the split tail. And as it falls, that tail goes like that in the water. So it's kind of kicks around. You don't have to do much. In a minute. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. You can go very, very natural sort of looking. This is this uh, color by Zoom is called Baby Bass. Or you can go super unnatural with it. This, this color is called Pearl. This is actually what I've caught m the most fish on maybe in my life total. So we're gonna go in just like, a, so a bit like a Texas rig or the long worm rig. We're gonna go in about a quarter of an inch, work it on around tuck the knot into the plastic, which is what I showed you in the last video. Now, the hook's gonna go through this sort of split belly here. It's gonna, the top of the hook is gonna lay right over the back. I still tuck mine, because I do like mine weedless. I fish very really shallow water in these ponds. There's a lot of vegetation, so um, I tuck that. Now, if you're fishing relatively open water, I've caught fish on these right out in the middle of the lake, bass. Uh, schooling bass out in the middle of the lake doing this, uh, even on a split rig where you got two of them. But anyway, um, that's if you're fishing open water, you don't really necessarily need to tuck it into the plastic like that. This is what I do. Now, this little thing looks like a sick fish. You throw it out there, and here's the best part. There's, there's no weight. There's no specific way to fish it. You throw it out there, and you do all sort of crazy stuff with it. You just twitch it around. Now, what I do is I work these in a cadence. It hits the water, I let it sink for a little bit, 10 seconds, and then I do a one, one, two. 
one, one, two. When I'm fishing slow, it's going to be one, one, two, one, one, two, like that. Okay. And what I'm doing is just, I put my rod tip low and I just, I'm just twitching it off to the side. So flick that out there. Okay. So I like to keep my rod tip down and just kind of twitch it like that. Okay. And just twitch it around and it looks and it darts left and right, up, down, it goes all sort of, it just does crazy stuff out there. And it looks like this little fish is, is sick, it's been hurt somehow or another, maybe another bass hit it and it's disoriented. And what that says to the other bass out there is better jump on it. You better grab that, something else is gonna eat it. Birds and stuff, I've even had birds try to eat these out of the water, like dive down and try to eat them. It looks like a fish in the water, I promise. Now. That's fishing a Zoom Super Fluke. I'm going to put this back in the bag. Now, the other way, you can do this exact same thing with a Zoom Trick Worm. Now, you can go fairly natural with it. This was one of the better colors, I think. It's called Motor Oil Chartreuse. This is the 4-inch model that I'm about to show you, 6 and 7-inch models. This one's tried and true. It's Watermelon Red. This one here is called Red Bug Shad. It's, it's the typical red bug plastic, but on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it in the, you might be able to see it in the camera. Anyway, there's a, a reflective piece of uh, soft plastic in there that shines. And this is, a, this is a good one. This is a color they did called sour grape. It's a pretty good one if you've got clear water. Now, if you don't have relatively clear water, which I don't, then you can go fairly unnatural with these and they still work. Uh, one of my favorite colors is bubblegum pink, just hot pink, bubblegum pink. In fact, I'm out of them. I, I can't even show you that one. Um, the other one I've got is a full-size model. This is a, a Zoom Trick Worm. This one's in uh, lime green, I think is what this was called, or maybe it's, it's chartreuse. But anyway, I'm standing here talking, I've messed my rig up. So on a Zoom Trick Worm, it is imperative it's imperative that you hide the knot in order for this thing to work properly. So you go right in the head of the bait. I didn't go in far enough, far enough. There we go. So I'm gonna, once again, measure where it's supposed to be in the lure. Go straight up through there. The hook's gonna lay over the back, tuck it in a little bit. It's important that this thing lay or hang perfectly straight. Notice that there is no slip sinker on this. There's no sinker anywhere on this. It's not a Carolina rig, Texas rig, uh, you know, split shot rig, nothing like that. It's just a hook and a line and this little worm, that's it. And you throw it out there and this thing will walk back and forth. It dances back and forth like this. As you twitch it, it just And uh, you get a lot of strikes not necessarily like right in the cover. Sometimes you throw it, throw it right in the cover. This thing's super weedless. Throw it right up in the cover. Sometimes you get bit right there. A lot of times you, you get the bite right after it comes off the cover. And sometimes it'll be five or six feet away from the cover and then still see it out there. Cause it's, I mean, it's lime green and it's moving all over the place. And they, they look out there and they go, I'm getting him. And they dart out from the shadows, out from that vegetation and will come out and get it five, six feet off the vegetation and uh, there's no rattle in this thing or anything. It's just as easy as it can be. And you throw it out there and it does that. <laughs> Runs around all over the place. That's as simple as it gets. Tie the hook on, put the, put the worm on there, time investment over. The whole rig might cost a dollar. Then you throw it out there and there's almost no rules. Just twitch it around and do crazy stuff with it and bass eat it. It works. <laughs>